Chris Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. It's week six of the NFL on EA Sports. the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jaguars, they're off to a terrific start, unbeaten at 5-0 through the first month and change. And you can hang a lot of this early success on their defense, too. They're the tone setters for these guys, and the entire team feeds off of what they do. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. And a glance at the tall signal caller, standing 6-6. I like this guy, and the reason I do, he tends to stay at an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed, take what the defense gives him, and then he can strike at times. Had a touchdown pass. Yes, he had an interception last week, but he found a way for his team to win. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He was In a word, I would say productive, finding the end zone three different times. Is it possible that you're really underselling it? Three touchdowns, just going to call him productive? Right. What, what do you want? This guy had a nose for the end he zone. He was good. Had a snoop full, didn't he? How about that? Big time game. Second and nine now. Wide open receiver complete. And all the way down to the 26. The it's a big play for the Jaguars. 48 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And from the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. Brings up third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now they try the right side here. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. And they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. Touchdown, Jacksonville. From six yards away. And the Jaguars drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. 
Josh One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told yeah, us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Josh Lambeau to kick off for Jacksonville. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. Okay, I'm not taking a turn to negative town, even though it's going to sound like it. The two interceptions he threw last week, those obviously have to be eliminated, and that was the focus of practice this week. But let's face it, he did throw three touchdown passes. And they got the win. And they got the win, so I think it was a good week for him to work on things. Had some positives, the win being first and foremost. Now he's just got to eliminate those interceptions. He's going to take off with it. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. He completes this one to Mack. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Good. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play, first won or lost a game. This seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage with a flag down here to boot. So they may back up further. Come on, go! He was trying to clear the way, the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hold. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally, when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. Going for Hilton, and it's intercepted. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off and running with power here. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A great play there with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. And it's good to make it 14-0. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Colts, nothing. Josh Lambeau to kick off for Jacksonville. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10.
run by Mack to start the drive. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Mack, the ball. A look at the numbers for Mack from last week. 14 carries, 53 yards, and a touchdown. They've won two straight games and have done it with the running game as the focal point of their offense. So in this contest, I don't think about doing anything else. I continue to ride the hot hand that I've established and lead with the runners. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 14 Colts nothing. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's the option. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A first down there on a pickup of 25. I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react. Even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL, they're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Brings up second and nine. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he'll go out of bounds after taking can get a little further down inside the 40. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Four. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And did the Jaguars come up with it? They did. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. And they'll begin by running the option. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. Number nine, Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. A good run. Got seven on first. Here's second and three. And they'll try the jet sweep here. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league. No question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get him a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Flush to his right. He'll run it. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. They'll try to run this one in. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal at the three-yard line. Rolling to his right toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone... With a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept it. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Touchdown. A great effort there with his 13th touchdown of the year and 
second of the game. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. Back to throw here. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Corey Willis. And this Colts defense comes up with a goal line stand. A breakdown by the O-line at the worst possible time. Fourth and goal, and it leads to a sack. And I can just see it now. The, on the sidelines, are telling the quarter, you've got to get rid of it somehow, some way. At least get it in the end zone and give us a chance. If we throw an interception, so what? A sack? We didn't even have a chance. Game clock at 2.01. Time for one final play before the two-minute warning. And they'll try to run the option here. And they'll hit him for a loss as he's back to his two-yard line. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. And the Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. Now back to throw. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Illegal block in the back. Return team. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. The first down. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback, but as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. They'll run the screen with Mack. No gain on the screen there at second down. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he's taken down inside the 30. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. 47 They'll look to throw now on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. He's found a hole in that zone. 
And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Tackle made back at the 25-yard line. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. Seibert's kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. Makes the score Jaguars 14, Colts 3. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day, and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. The Jaguars take over first and 10. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in week six. We'll begin with a good one in the NFC South. Carolina paying a visit to New Orleans, and they have gone to the break with the Panthers out in front. DJ Moore, a touchdown catch in that first half. From there, let's head to New Jersey. The Jets at home at MetLife Stadium. And they've got the lead over the visiting Denver Broncos. Sam Darnold, four touchdown passes. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City. See what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. And that game all tied up as they host the visiting Giants. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? We turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. And this will make it into the end zone, and this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Now the second down throw on target. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Ball carrier. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch of more plays. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They go right back to Mac. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Now we have Hyde still on the ground here. Staying down after that last play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break.
A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And the fair catch is made. It's going to pin him back here at the seven-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Jaguar football as they take over deep in their own territory. Start the drive. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. 20. Touchdown, Jaguars. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A big play there. 93 yards. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes. And while this game is far from over, I love their approach. And it's 21 to three. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Josh Lambeau to kick off for Jacksonville. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Now this will make it into the end zone, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. They'll start on the ground with Mack. Mack gets hit, and the ball is free. And the Jags grab it. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Fumble on the play. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football, and they still find ways to knock it free. And this is one of those bang-bang plays, Charles. Did the knee hit first or did the ball come out first? This is where you need that 20-20 eyesight, don't you, Brandon? You've got to see which one happened first. If the knee hit the ground, then they will keep possession. Second and short now following the fumble. They'll start by run of the option to the right. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 
Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and the Jaguars go on offense first down and 10. So here are the Jaguars to take over on offense. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Third quarter here in Indy. This is second and ten. Second and ten. From the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. He'll have a first down past the 40. And now off to the races. Down the right side. Touchdown, Jaguars. A great play there with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. Charles, they had six DBs out there. They were thinking pass. They surprised him with a long run. I wonder if they saw that and just checked to it. Maybe had an audible and said, you know something, Josh get six Lambeau defensive backs, let's run the football. Here. Let's get our big guys downfield and match up with the littler guys and see if we can create some space. And not only did they create space, they created a path all the way to the end zone. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And they open the lead up now to 25. Josh Lambeau to kick off for Jacksonville. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. It'll be a gain of nine, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. Brandon, they didn't get everything they wanted out of that play. No. But the tight end did. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a positive way. Great job of him holding on after absorbing that big hit. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not. And they'll try to convert on third and inches. They'll try and run for this with Matt. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Mikel Roby Coleman, a sack off the corner. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. On the give, this is Mack. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. The ball carrier, he's tackled at the 34-yard line. 
That's a gain of three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Colts on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and 14. He'll drop to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down. And for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together. And they had a chance to pick up a first down. But the defense got there and finished it off. They'll run for it. This is Mack. And he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about it, your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? All right, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. First down, now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. This time to the tailback. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Brought down at the eight. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead. First down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down. Have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. Now on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. And it's third down. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard. It's that. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. So on fourth down, Jags kicker Josh Lambeau comes on. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. And Lambeau will put this one through. And their lead will swell up to 28. Jaguars 31, Colts 3. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Fielded near the back of the end zone, and he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Colts now, their offense works their way back onto the field. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. First down, he'll drop to throw. Out to his left. He'll try and run it. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards.
yards shy of midfield. That would have broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this where both of these guys running the ball well? Yeah, they mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks <laughs> have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Got his man there, complete to Gallup. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight, as that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And he finds Seals Jones complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good yardage there for the Colts. 18 and a first down. And oh, he coughed it up. And did the Jaguars come up with it? They did. The quarterback on the keeper. Fumble on the play. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. The Jaguars' offense now heads back onto the field. And right about now, heck, they might be wishing they did not have a bye week coming up next week. It appears they're going to go into that week off in high spirits as they've got this one well in hand. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. There to stop it was Darius Leonard. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. They're going to try the jet sweep on third and long. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Nice third down conversion at even 20 yards. Well, part of why that play works is because the defense has to freeze because they don't know whether he's going to hand it off or keep it himself. And this time, how about that sleight of hand there? Gives it to his wide out. And that indecision defensively, boy, it hurt him in a big way. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. He's across midfield. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was. It all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.
So for the Jags, they remain as hot as anyone. 6-0 now through the first month and a half. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Colts, the loss will drop them to 4-2 on the year. And they'll be at home for one next week as the Atlanta Falcons come to town. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Hey, boy, and be some you gotta yeah. go berserk. Okay. Uh, sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, uh, sometimes you need a foe. Want to keep your eyes open, keep you on your toes. You know the ones that want to keep you where you've been before. But I can't go. No, I can't go. And whoa, uh, sometimes I need a check. Not the sneakers, but the ones that make you watch your step. You know, I sat down with my accountant, he said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. Okay. okay. Look, sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know you or sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of the face. You can't negotiate with Dre. You gon' have to pay for way. Jugging on the main stage, the main frame. Loosen up your face, baby. Protect my energy uh, before engagement. Grew up having nothing, you're labeled impatient. Huh. But once the boss made it, you're labeled amazing. Meticulous with words, cause you're forcing nature. Boss. I don't wanna seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Fo focusing on me, way from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle pockets, LRDs. Distinctive destinations, all I wanna see. Ocean from residents.